Okay, so the chapter I decided to analyze was chapter 5, um, How to Tame a Wild Tongue. And the, the certain part that really, um, I guess, captured my attention was when, um, is when she was talking about um, how because she spoke a language that was kind of a mixture between English and Spanish, how she was often sort of penalized as a kid and looked down upon and how people kind of told her to not talk this certain way. Um, particularly the spot that I'm thinking of um, is when she said, in childhood we are told that our language is wrong. Repeated attacks on our native tongue diminish our sense of self. The attacks continue throughout our lives. This reminded me of I used to have a nanny, um, and her name was Maria, and she had moved to America from Colombia. And when she started working for my family, um, she didn't speak English very well, very little actually. She didn't speak English at all, kind of. Um, she only knew certain certain words, and um, when I was younger, she would always ask me to. Um, kind of teach her different words, how to say certain things, like if she said it wrong, of course I'd get, you know, happily tell her how to say words, but um, it wasn't until I was older when um, by at this point she was, she could speak English pretty fluently, but she had a thick accent, and she wasn't until I was older, around like 13 years old, she would say how people, at, even at supermarkets, would judge her um, for having an accent. Now, I come from a pretty um, diverse area. It's a mix of different races and different cultures in my town, um, like central New Jersey. So when she had told me this, I was actually shocked because um, I, I had grown up with kids who, you know, spoke Mandarin and Hindi and all these different languages. But I guess because Maria spoke Spanish, like people, you know, just assumed she was of lower class and, you know, she was this or she was that. And I'm, I mean, you know, she, of course she wasn't. And, um, I, when she speaks to her son, she actually speaks in a combination of English and Spanish because she wants him to learn how to speak Spanish. She wants him to be bilingual, and I think that's awesome, and I think that's just so great to learn so many languages and to be bilingual, and I don't understand why somebody would punish somebody for speaking you know, more than one language or even combining the two. But in a way, she kind of has a point of the way her culture works, you know. Chicanas don't really have a sense of identity. They're in between American and Mexican and, you know, Spanish and, you know, English per se. And I just think that their combination of the two languages kind of speaks to them not really having a pretty set identity. And it makes her argument of herself, like trying to really find herself through language, very interesting that she would choose a lang her language that is a combination of the two things of what she is to that most people feel like they don't have an identity, that she feels like she really solidifies her identity, you know, her identity with those two languages and they represent kind of who she is.